My dad just found me sat cross-legged in front of his best stereo in pieces, a screwdriver in one hand and a guilty look on my ten-year-old face. Going back a few years, and it's Sunday morning, I'm being dragged away from a fine selection of cartoons to get down to the local boot sale to see what's on offer. I spot another plastic toy I want and spend my 20p on it. My parents say it's just more clutter for your room. A few Sundays later, we're back at the boot sale, but this time my dad's brought me this 9 volt battery and a little bulb. This is great. I built little circuits, powered things up, and blue bulbs all over the place. The beginning of my love for anything electrical. My thirst for the spectacular is leading me to increase the volts to create bigger and brighter sparks and drive bulbs and motors to their limits and beyond. As time goes by, the size of the equipment grows. I set my sights on bigger and better things. Stereos, TVs, toys, radios, computers. I have to know how and why they work. I feel I need to improve them. Can I make them better, smaller and louder? This is where I've been caught in the act dissecting my dad's best stereo, trying to answer all the questions I have. Now, with a degree in audio technology, I can answer a lot of these questions that all began with that battery and bulb. And even after all these years, dad still says I am a pound for them.